Some feel that buying into a franchise means unpacking a business in a box, a proven concept whose upkeep is minimal and whose complications and X factors have been ironed out by the franchiser. The reality is that franchise businesses require intense monitoring and a lot of hard work. To get a sense of what a successful restaurant franchisee goes through on a daily basis, we checked in with Zane Tankel, owner and operator of Apple Metro, an organization that runs Applebee's restaurants in the New York City area. He's also a commentator on Fox Business News. Tankel got into the Applebee's business in his 50s when he and his business partner, Roy Rayburn, opened their first location on Staten Island in 1994. Today the mini empire consists of 36 Applebee's locations and maintaining the operation and its two, 800 employees takes constant oversight. On an average day, Tankel, who is 73, wakes up around 6.30 a.m. at his home in Alpine, New Jersey, and by 7 a.m. enjoys a healthy breakfast, a veggie shake, and reviews reports of goings-on at each of his restaurants the night before, including the sales and earnings figures. That early morning data, he says, can dramatically affect the rest of the day. If there are any big anomalies, my next call is to Nisha Sirvai, our Chief Operating Officer and Director of Operations. She's a morning person, she's a heat-seeking missile and she's already got answers. Issues worthy of discussion can include cost spikes at certain locations at certain times of night, logistical or even whether altercations took place at one of the restaurants. When you have a licensed premises, liquor, people walk in lambs and turn into lions while they're drinking, says Tankle. That manifests itself in violence too often. Read more, Applebee's Saved My Life, a franchise owner gives former inmates a second chance by 7.30 a.m. Tankle begins his daily 90-minute workout, which can consist of biking, lifting weights, walking or, in the summer, taking a swim in his pool. Athletics has always been important to the restaurateur. He was an athlete in high school and college, and even spent 10 years as an amateur mountain climber. It clears mind and body, he says. From 10 a.m. to noon, Tangle focuses on everything in his life that is not Applebee's related. That can include work he does for boards on which he sits, including those of Caribbean restaurants LLC, which owns Burger King franchises in Puerto Rico and Mexico, and Alley Energy, an oil field services company based in Houston. Tankel is also a founding director of the Federal Law Enforcement Foundation, a not-for-profit that provides financial assistance to federal and local law enforcement agencies.